Hi everyone, I'm here with this week's happiness strategy, and this week the theme is all around having more fun in our work day. I have a list of five ideas and ways that you can add a little bit more fun in your work day. Now the first idea is to smile. It's a simple yet powerful trick to immediately feel good. When we smile, we get an immediate boost. And also smiling does activate our neural messaging that does make us feel good and can be beneficial to our overall health and to our happiness. It also goes without saying that when we smile, it's contagious and we're more approachable and other people want to be around people that are happy and that are having fun. And so if you want to create more of a fun work environment, give yourself the gift of smiling a bit more in your day. Now the second idea is to set an intention. Now this could be before you start your work day to have more fun in your day and to have adopt a more playful attitude. It can also be, sometimes I like to set the intention that I'm not gonna take everything so seriously. Now this doesn't mean that, I'm, that we don't take our job seriously or that we're unprofessional or overly goofy. What I'm talking about is not taking things seriously that don't need to be <laughs> taken seriously. So to, you know, ease up a little bit and to, to just sort of set that intention of approaching our day with a more playful and fun attitude. Now you could set the intention before you get to work um, and you can even set intentions before you start a task. Um, the third idea is to ease up and be fun. Now if we want to experience more fun in our day, the simplest way we can do this is to be fun ourselves. And while we are being fun, we get to have that experience. Um, and it also is kind of like smiling. It is contagious um, when we are happier and when we have a more playful idea attitude, it, we do tend to attract people that, that want to be around that and, to, and that want to also contribute to that and to, and to have more fun. So, so if you want to have more fun, see what happens if you give yourself permission to be fun. The fourth idea is to set the tone. Now this is going to look different for everybody and it'll depend on how much freedom you have in your work environment to create the environment. Um, but if you do have a bit of freedom, setting the tone with things like music. You know, music is powerful for um, setting the tone and you could of course put on music that's upbeat and that makes you feel good. Um, you could also decorate your work environment in a way that uh, makes you feel good and that is kind of more playful, you know, add more color, um, even adding like flowers or things like that to your workstation that make you feel good, that remind you to smile, <laughs> um, you know, all of those sorts of things. Um, and, and it does depend on your workplace and your work environment. I work from home, so of course I have a lot more freedom. I do listen to a lot of music and I do find that because I don't have any coworkers, um, I do have clients and people that I work with in ways that I can get out in my day to um, add more fun and play to my day. Um, but I don't have people in my immediate environment, so adding music is a really powerful tool and something that I often turn to to um, just if I find my mood starting to sort of fade just to kind of boost my mood and to feel good and to even have like an impromptu dance party. So again, this does vary from workplace to workplace, but do what you can to set the tone and set the environment so that it is going to um, entice you to have a bit more fun in your day. Now the fifth idea is really important and it's something that we all can do and that we all have control over and this is to take care of ourselves. When we are taking care and, and getting enough rest and getting proper nutrition and when we're hydrated and we're getting regular exercise, we are setting ourselves up to feel good in our bodies and when we feel good in our bodies, it's so much easier <laughs> to feel lighter and to feel happier and to you know, have a more playful spirit. Because when we feel bogged down and we feel like we have the weight of the world on our shoulders and we're not taking care of ourselves, it's just so much harder to, to um, be playful and to have fun. So do what you can you know, to make sure that you're taking care of your regular needs and that you're taking 
having that self-care practice that that is a way that you start each day it's not just something that we do once a week um, it's something that we do every day so taking care of our emotional health and our physical health um, these it really does go a long way getting enough sleep is is probably the number one thing that we can do to feel good in our bodies and um, to feel rested because when we're rested it's it's just so much easier to keep everything in perspective and you know having fun shouldn't be reserved for when we are leaving work or when when we're not at work um, because we do spend a lot of us spend a lot of our lives in our workplaces and and doing our work so it makes little sense to wait till the end of the day to give ourselves that gift of fun and of joy so I just invite everybody this week to do what you can, you know, even make your own list of ideas that resonate with you of how you can add more fun in your work day and give yourself that gift of, of enjoyment while you work. Um, it really does go a long way. And I know in my own life, when I am have that more playful attitude and when I'm having fun, I create better work. And I have more fun when I'm doing it. And, and the journey is better. And it, it all kind of occurs with more ease. So there is that too. So whatever you get up to this week, I do um, hope and invite everybody to to um, give themselves that gift of more fun and more play and more joy in your work day. And we'll see you next week. Thanks so much.